The global population is aging. The fastest growing segment of our population is over 65. Every eight seconds, a baby boomer turns 65. Novartis has a very strong strategy for addressing uh, diseases of aging. First, we have programs in the major illnesses, the chronic illnesses that accompany aging, heart failure, atherosclerosis, diabetes, cancer. But also we have programs that are very exciting in addressing the frailty of aging. It's often terribly unpleasant uh, for the patient and their family when they have incapacities that prevent them from doing any major activities. They can't enjoy their grandchildren because they can't hear them or see them. These are major problems. The biggest contributor to understanding aging, in my mind, is understanding development. Regeneration uh, is a very good term for what we're doing because we're actually trying to recapture the embryonic state to replenish muscle or hearing or vision. In muscle, we're trying to block pathways that in, during development actually keep the muscle quiescent and quiet and don't allow it to grow. If we can restore someone's muscle, they can get out of bed, they can walk around, they can do their groceries, they, they don't fall as often, at least that's our hope. The trial in hearing is to recapture the cells that are lost. As we age, we lose the so-called hair cells of the ear. They're cells that register sound. They're called hair cells because they have little antennae that vibrate off of them, and they're lost, and they don't regenerate. By the time you're over 60, 10 to 15 percent of the population have hearing deficits that interfere with their daily life. We found that we can introduce a single gene back into cells that are still there in the vicinity of those foregone hair cells and make them into hair cells. So this principle of capturing a cell and making it into a completely different cell is a very powerful one of developmental biology and we're hoping to use that therapeutically. I don't really believe we're going to noticeably extend the lifespan of individuals. But I think we really need to do our best to have people be fully capable of enjoying their environment. My hope is that we deliver means to have healthy aging.